Hey guys, Jenny McKenzie here, and the workout I have for you today is a slow sun salutation series progression. I like to do this workout after a run or when I first wake up in the morning, and I'm using a barefoot shoe and two perfect, like I think they're called perfect push-up handlebars um, for this, because sometimes when I teach clients yoga, a lot of times they'll complain of um, wrist or comment, not complain, on wrist problems. So I just wanted to show you a different alternative. If you're working out outside, if like your kids are at the park too, this is also really nice to have. So I want you to start in standing, wherever you want to, because you don't have the top of the mat. I want you to inhale, stand up, sweep up, gaze up, and really try to puff your heart forward to create a micro bend um, in the back, puffing the heart forward, filling the lungs with air, and then exhale rolling through heart center and kind of try and feel the movement go down your spine. Exhale, come all the way down. Exhale deeply. I like to spend a minute, you know, a few breaths here, but especially the first time, maybe moving from side to side. And I like kind of like to let my head hang heavy. Exhale, try to draw your nose to your knees or your belly to your thighs. Exhale deeply and really feel that stretch down the back, the entire back of the leg. Now I want you to inhale, draw the crown of the head forward and contract. This is called Uddiyana Bandha. Um, it's almost like you're bringing your, you're, you're drawing your, your navel to your spine. It's almost like you're contracting your abs forward and into your ribcage on that inhale. I also like to spend a few breaths here. Inhale, making myself long. Exhale, drawing myself in. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, really seeing if I can get the belly to touch the thighs. Inhale, lengthen. And on this next one, we're going to exhale all the way through Chaturanga or tricep push up. They call this riding the exhale all the way down. Again, I like to hold it here for a second, especially since these are slow sun salutations before inhale. Rolling over the toes, rolling my shoulders back, and really seeing if I can, you know, puff my heart forward here, increase my range of motion, and get an upper a bend in the upper back. It feels really good. Exhale, roll over your toes, down into downward facing dog. Draw your navel to spine. Again, I like to spend a couple breaths here too, either walking it out, seeing how I feel side to side. Exhale, pushing my weight all the way into the heels. Maybe seeing if I can really um, draw the navel into the spine. There's a lot of different things you can really focus on. It just kind of depends on how your body is feeling. Now, when you're ready, we're going to do slow walks all the way to where our hands are. So just start in a good downward facing dog and then just begin slowly and exaggeratedly walking. You should feel an intense stretch. Um, down the back of your hamstring and even into your calf, but just kind of really exaggeratedly rolling from the heels to the ball of foot as you come all the way up. You should even begin to feel your abs contract again, Udiyana Bandha, into, I mean, upward and in through your ribs. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Really try to keep them straight though so you feel the, contract, the contracting um, and the, at the core activation. Once you're at the top, exhale deeply, fold all the way in. Inhale, get long, exhale deeply, fold all the way in and roll, gently roll yourself up again. And inhale, bring your hands all the way up again over your head, puff your heart forward, creating that mini bend in the back. And this time, I like to exhale, cactus my arm to get an even better micro bend in the back. Inhale, come up to standing, hands over your head, exhale, swan dive forward. All the way down, exaggerate it. Remember, this is really slow. Sometimes you feel more when you're getting slow. Remember, try and draw those nose to the knees or the belly to the um, the thighs. And sometimes I like to massage the back of my legs and maybe pull gently to help my full, not too hard, just pull gently to kind of to help myself achieve a um, deeper stretch. Inhale, come up the shins and maybe press off the, um, the uh, either above or below the knees to lengthen. Exhale, fold in, inhale, draw up the shin and lengthen, really feel that Uddiyana Bandha, draw the navel into the spine. <sighs> Exhale, fold in one more time, inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, it, maybe even come up onto the ball of your foot a little bit, I know I'm running out of room here a little bit. Exhale, grab your handlebars and slowly ride the breath down through 
chaturanga or your tricep push-up inhale roll over the toes draw the shoulder blades back really puff your heart forward try to get that um that deep upper back bend it's not so much in the back uh, in the in your in the bottom here you really want to focus on this upper back bend exhale roll over the toes and ease back into your downward facing dog go ahead and get settled again kind of pedal it out a little bit i like to stretch i like to bend one leg generously and really get a good stretch in my side body we're going to explore this more in the next iteration and on the other side bend generously in the left leg and really kind of push back the left hand and feel that stretch all along that left side body exhale press the weight back into the heels let the head hang heavy we're going to do the slow walks again so again these are going to be slow sensations it's meant to slowly kind of breathe warmth and flexibility into our body remember exaggerated heel toe heel toe i'm already feeling the um core activation here in a really big way all right now we should be at the top exhale fold in inhale lengthen exhale fold in this time a little bit more breath inhale lengthen exhale fold in inhale lengthen breathe come all the way up through center i'm um, micro bending over back exhale cactus the arms inhale come back up to standing exhale swan dive forward hinge at the hips exhale all the way in inhale lengthen exhale fold in inhale lengthen exhale fold in inhale lengthen exhale step it all the way back through chaturanga rise up exhale slowly down through the tricep push-up or you um inhale roll over the toes roll the shoulder blades back micro bend in the upper back exhale roll over the toes into downward facing dog this time what i want us to do i'm going to walk forward a little bit because i'm kind of tight on space here and i just want to make sure i'm good i want you to inhale the right toes up whatever way you can slowly and see how that changes the stretch in the hamstring on the left foot and then i want you to bend the knee flex the foot open up the hip but really open it up a lot maybe even come up on your fingertips here or up on onto your bar and feel the really deep stretch in through that side body. You're trying to keep the shoulders a little bit square and your, your hip open to get a stretch down the side body. <sighs> Exhale, bring it back, replace the foot. Make sure you're driving your weight back in through the heels and downward facing dog. Inhale the left foot up. Inhale as high as you can go. Exhale, flex the foot. Bend the knee, open the hip, and at the same time, turn to the left a little bit to really, and maybe feel a little bit of weight come off of your left hand or the left grip to feel the stretch through that side body. Stay here for a couple breaths as long as you like. Um, you want to feel a good stretch, but not too intense. You don't want to, you know, hurt yourself. Exhale, replace the foot back, push the weight back into the heels, and again, we're going to walk it forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Hopefully, you're already feeling a little bit more flexible. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, micro bend in the upper back. Cactus the arms. Inhale, bring your hands together over your head. Exhale, swan dive forward. Knee to nose, belly to thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step it back. Ex ride your exhalation all the way through that low plank into chaturanga. You can also come all the way down to the ground um, and keep your hands on here and inhale if this is easier and really just kind of draw the shoulder blades down and just focus on that micro bend in the upper back. This is great too. You don't want to feel any pinching in your low back. If it is, just, kind of just make sure you're taking it back into the upper back. All right, go ahead and curl the toes. Push up, roll back into your downward facing dog this time we're going to inhale those right toes into the air we're going to exhale bring them to the out bring the right toes to the outside of the right hand and come down onto that left knee if you want to and we're going to push our right knee away with our right hand and you're when you when you do that you want your right foot 
you want to roll to the um, knife edge of that right foot. You should really feel yourself getting into that hip. If you want to, you can roll it back. You can even grab this foot if you're really feeling for it. But right now, I'm just kind of focusing on the hips. We'll get to the, we'll get to this, grabbing the foot later. Exhale, one minute. Exhale, draw back, fold over, half split. Inhale, drive that left foot forward and come into that low lunge. Exhale, sink back into the half split. Inhale, come forward onto those left fingers and push that right knee away again. Really kind of try to twist your body open to the right also. Turn your heart up to the sky. For exhale, play, replacing your right hand and stepping that right foot down. Go ahead and inhale the left foot up. Exhale, slowly bring it to the outside of that left hand. Go ahead and drop the knee if you want. You don't have to. Um, sometimes I don't, especially if I'm at the park or on concrete. I just stay in this low lunge with the knee elevated and I push away. So I'm gonna push that left knee away, this time with my knee elevated, and really get into that left hip, the inner and outer hip, really. Abductors and abductors. So replace the knee on the ground if you head it up. And exhale back into your half split. Inhale, move forward, square off the hips and drive forward with the right hip this time, squaring it off. Exhale on the half splits, splits, really feel that great stretch down the back of the left hamstring. Inhale, come forward, replace both hands. Exhale, send it back into a downward facing dog and slowly walk the feet forward. This time you should be feeling a lot of core activation and your hamstring should be really warm. So hopefully it's a lot more flexible. Just kind of walk to the top. Walk. Exhale. Folding in. Inhale. Elongating. Exhale. Folding in. Inhale. Elongating. Exhale. Folding in. Come forward. Inhale. Rolling up. Feeling it through as many vertebrae as you can in your spine. Inhale. Rolling the shoulders back. A few times. Inhale. Stand up. Sweep up. Gaze up. Exhale. Cactus the arms. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, your hands through heart center. That's just a really nice, quick 10 minute flow right when you wake up or after you do a run. And um, that should feel good and really wake up those hamstrings and get into the hips a bit. I hope you enjoyed it.